Good evening, I'm Pia Antiveros. This is News.ph, but it's not politics as usual. One hour is too short a time for a discussion on the 30th anniversary of the Aquino assassination, which is why we're sort of having part two of Town Hall, the shot that rang out. And we're having two of our netizens who are with us in Town Hall, with us now, Pierre Tito Gallia and Cecil Soria. Pierre is Jesser in Exile on Twitter and Cecil is Ceso on Twitter. And later on in the second half of the show, we will meld the discussion into some talk about a so-called Million People March in Luneta. Uh, and that's about the PDAF, right? The Priority Development Assistance Fund. But first, uh, that part two discussion on uh, the Aquino assassination. So good evening again, Hello. Pierre and Cecil. Thank you for sticking around. Okay, di ba usually sa pag, pag uh, tapos na yung isang show, no? talk show, parang ang haba pa ng discussion after, hindi pa tapos, yes. di ba? Why, why is the discussion not finished yet, Cecil? Well, kasi maraming unresolved talaga. First of all, napaka-interesting naman yung topic natin about what uh, Ninoy Aquino meant for mm -hmm. the country and what his assassination um, brought about. Uh, bukod dyan, marami kasing viewpoints na pinag perspectives na pinagagalingan yung mga tao. Um, like we discussed earlier, uh, may, may views that um, recognize the contribution of Ninoy to Philippine history and to democracy. There were also some views brought out saying na Ninoy was really just a representative of the elites. Mm -hmm. He was fighting for just a different group. But there were also some representatives of the perspective naman ng... Um, Ninoy didn't really do anything good and it was actually Marcos who was um, uh, instrumental in bringing uh, growth to the uh, Philippines. Pierre? I'm thinking that the reason why the discussion is so vibrant and so, uh, so magulo, like what Cecil was saying, is because there seems to be a lack of information from those who want to discuss about it. In the earlier discussion, we had those who had memories of what martial law is like. Mm -hmm. Today, we don't have that anymore. Most of the discussions online are based on spin, based mm -hmm. on what we might dis uh, con consider propaganda, but few are based on fact. Now, we can't blame Siguro the kids, the teeners who, might, who have not experienced martial law because the textbooks don't talk about it much. Mm -hmm. There's very little opportunity for uh, our our younger brothers, sisters, kids to learn about it in school. And this lack of information is contributing to what was discussed uh, kanina about historical amnesia. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the people who are on social media are very young people. That's diba? right. It's, it's the, the next, next generation. Yes. Diba? So, may ibig sabihin yun, may impact yun dun sa a conversation that's going on in social media. Not just that. I would think that uh, the repercussions or the future effects of uh, not educating young people, especially those on social media, of the things that happen in martial law, the things that happened before and uh, during and after Ninoy Aquino was killed, because there's going to be this lack of knowledge, we're going to see political ramifications today. Mm -hmm. We're going to find uh, what was discussed kanina also about revisionist history, mm -hmm. about martial law being the golden age of the Philippines and things like that. And because there's not going to be much uh, discussion by people who have memories, the people on social media will keep on making this go viral. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 yeah, that, go ahead, I Cecil. I just wanted to ask, mm -hmm. uh, add, um, what struck me earlier uh, during the discussion, I got a tweet saying that, um, it's, imp uh, it's important to note that there's already a change in how we uh, pass on knowledge from one generation to another. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi ngayon pa na social media, unlike before, when it was really members of a family discussing issues. So since puro social media, you tend to gravitate dun sa mga ka-age mo. Um, mm -hmm. Baka may kulang dun sa conversation between uh, one generation to another. So dun okay. siguro nagkakaroon okay. ng... You're saying, sa understanding. you're saying families should talk more? Yes, parents oh. should explain parents should to their more. kids yeah. what happened before. But then mm. if the parents are OFWs, there won't be much uh, of this dinner table discussions as well. So uh -huh. we might have to depend on the schools. However, if we're going to depend on the schools, the textbooks themselves don't contain the information that X number of people were imprisoned, Y number of people were killed, tortured, and such like. Mm -hmm. I 
siguro we cannot blame naman din the DepEd for removing these horrific episodes of our our history from textbooks for children because mm -hmm. who wants to hear about a person being um, tortured yeah, in, okay. in, in gross gross manner. Uh -oh. okay. You know, you're, I, ako, I really appreciated uh, your roles. Diba? When I invited you kasi to Town Hall, I said, I want you guys to live tweet because I want uh, people to get a sense of what uh, people outside, no? because we have a virtual audience also, no? hindi lang yung live audience sa studio or yung, yung viewers natin, yung television viewers, pero yung virtual yes. uh, viewers natin. No? I wanted to get a really good sense of what people are saying. When, when, when you were engaging people or when you were tweeting and then people were uh, replying to you or retweeting you, no? um, did you get the sense that, uh, because we were talking about Ninoy, right? Yes. His, the 30th anniversary of his death, of his killing, uh, what it meant to us, and yet there was part of the discussion revolved around Marcos and uh, martial law and of course. how good or how bad it was. No? Of course. Why, why was it like that? Was that a... Um, that was a, uh, what, ha, what, spontaneous or talagang, uh, I sa, think so. Yan, I, think so. I, I think in this day and age, uh, in social media at least, you cannot separate the idea of Ninoy Aquino from the idea of martial law. Mm -hmm. There's always this thesis, juxtaposition. yes, there's okay. always this, correct, a juxt uh, juxtaposition of martial law was like this, Ninoy Aquino was that. Mm -hmm. You will have uh, people saying that, uh, martial law was the golden age of the Philippines and Ninoy ended it by being foolish. Mm -hmm. Conversely, uh, martial law was this really bad time for people, no freedoms and things like that, and Ninoy was this, the spark, the shot that uh, rang around the world. Mm -hmm. There is this discussion ongoing, but quite unfortunately, I think a lot of the discussion, especially among the younger generation, is no longer based on fact. Mm -hmm. And it's based on meme, spin, memes, memes, <laughs> memes spin, 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 spin uh, myth, yes. quite possibly myth. Yes, uh -huh. okay. there's a lot yes. of myth making that's going on right now. Uh, an example would be uh, yung kay Bong Bong. They are saying mm -hmm. that, uh, well, they are ascribing so many qualities to him, and they're saying na uh, hindi naman dapat na ibintang din sa kanya yung sense of the, the father. father. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, there's a lot of myth making and I think social media makes it easier because it's so easy to pass on and uh, parang ganun din siguro dati that uh, if you see it on TV it must be true so there's a lot of I know uh, there are a lot of YouTube videos ng showing um, how good it was nung time ni Marcos and yung mga may expose about conspiracies um, for the Aquinos or mm -hmm. conspiracies na organized by the elites in favor of Aquino. So, yung mga yon, if they get uh, to be watched by young people without any historical grounding, akala nila totoo. Mm -hmm. um, what percentage of the discussion would you say was um, not very favorable about Ninoy Aquino? Uh, th there were some comments, yes. ano, if, you, if you look through, through the, your, your threads, your, your timelines. There were, there were some, hindi lang about who is he eh, or yes. I didn't know him. Medyo negative, ano? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think that I would, I would be remiss in saying that it's a very, I, I would be remiss in telling you that I think it's a small group, no? Mm. I'd say that probably there's a polarization going on, equal mm. parts. Uh, we are glad that Ninoy died for us, X, Y, and Z. We, I also see probably another half saying, no, no, Marcos was the best president that we ever had. Mm -hmm. The only way I think that this, the engagement will happen is if both echo chambers decide to cross echo the chambers. echo chambers, decide yeah. to cross over and debate with it once and for all what really happened. But we can't get there until uh -huh. we bring the facts to light. Uh -huh. Cecil? Uh, I think yung kasing perception ng kay Ninoy is also um, fueled by how we have been disappointed by EDSA. Mm -hmm. So, okay. a lot of right. people really view his death negatively kasi marami silang expectations because of 
of uh -oh. you know from Ed sana hindi naman na meet mm -hmm. so yeah. yun I think it's parang colored by parang what did he die that. for parang ganon yes. right and and okay. it, and Edsa was supposed yeah. to change everything so that Th that's Edsa, what we thought <laughs> yes. that's what we had hoped so, right and yeah. because of that alam, so parang nagkakaroon ng jadedness dun sa importance of his death to our history ah uh, okay and then some people balance it out by saying that the Marcoses were great anyway. You know? Our years under Marcos were great. Yes. Ganun, ganun yes, yes, there's a lot of that. And uh, there's always this, uh, this push to point to infrastructure, uh, myths about economy and things like that. But uh, we wouldn't be here today being able to speak as freely as we could if August 21, 1983 didn't happen. Yeah. I, I was asking earlier during town hall nga na, Tama bang sabihin, di ba, na kung, wal, kung hindi namatay si Ninoy, kung hindi nangyari yung nangyari sa atin noong 1986? Walang Facebook ang Pilipinas. Walang Facebook ang Pilipinas. <laughs> 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 Meron siguro. Meron, Meron may siguro. Facebook, may Twitter. May pero... great firewall of the Marcoses. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> firewall. Firewall. Parang, Beige, parang China. Parang China, probably. Okay. North Korea. Something okay. like that. Is that, is that an exaggeration, Ceci? Ako naman, what? I take the position ng if there were social media before, martial law would not have happened. Mm -hmm. Kasi okay. ano eh, kasi um, the only way na he was able to consolidate power because he concentrated yung source of information. Yeah. And that Severe cannot happen lack of now. information. Yes. Right? Okay. So, dati he was able to create this panic in the populace na and daming bombings, and daming unrest, and therefore justified you, martial law. I don't think it can happen now. Mm -hmm. You agree, Pierre? Well, Cecil raises a very valid point, and we've seen it in other countries as well. And there is this saying, I can't remember who, and someone in Wikipedia will point it out to me, that you want to free a people, you give them internet. And mm. I think... Go Gonim? Why Gonim? The yes. Googler who was yes, in... Yes, the Googler in uh, Iran, was it? No, Egypt. 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 Somebody help us out. Egypt. Yes. Egypt. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we'll talk about that million people march. We'll explain why why we're why we're going into that discussion. Uh, when we come back, stay with us. Stay right there. <laughs> I think we're joining you. <clears throat> Change.org slash ph campaigns at the daft scan. But they will cute. Remind them. Is it him? You can read the type of card, Jen. Ah, okay. 52 petitions. 52 by now since. What was the first one? August 7. Mommy, you have 30 seconds left. Welcome back. You're still watching News.ph on the Solar News Channel. I'm Pio Ontiveros. We're still joined by Pierre Tito Gallia. He's Jester in Exile on Twitter. And Cecil Soria, she's CESO, that's CESO on Twitter. We were talking about, uh, uh, well, it was like a part two no, of uh, Town Hall. Uh, not enough time to talk about the Aquino assassination and what it means to us today. But now we're going to move into uh, this so-called Million People March uh, that's scheduled to happen on when? August 26th. Uh, that's Monday uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's uh, about this uh, outrage over the PIDA for the Priority Development Assistance Fund. Joining us now is Gang Badoy. Uh, she's Communication uh, Director, am I correct? Communications Director of Change.org, and Peachy Britannia, your uh, facilitator. 
Yes. Right? Facilitator for <laughs> reluctant. Um, <dealing. laughs> you're, you're very reluctantly admitting that you are the facilitator. Don't worry, you won't get arrested. No. At least I don't think so. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> do you already have a permit? For <laughs> or, I'm glad you said that. Like, I need huh? a permit. So if anyone's watching who can sign their permit, <laughs> did you apply? Did you apply um, there are some people, I think, who have applied. Yeah. Uh, but from my end, when, when, when uh, this was con well, when this happened, mm. the reason why we tagged it as a um, picnic protest mm -hmm. was because, you know, you can just go there, it's a holiday, and have a picnic. And have a picnic. Yeah. No one can tell you not to have a picnic. <laughs> oh. How did it start, Naba? Sino nag umpisa? Sino ba talaga yung nagpisa? I saw a status message mm. of Monet Silverio. Silvestre. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. Monet, Monet Silvestre, Silvestre okay. who reposted uh, Ito Rapada's status message, which okay. was a suggestion, or I would say it's the concept of a peop, uh, million people march mm -hmm. um, as a sign of protest. Yeah. So, we, so we can always, you can always, when the police question, you can always say, go, go see Ito Rapadas. <laughs> Who is Ito Rapadas? Who are these people? Who's Ito Rapadas? Who's Actually, interestingly enough, Ito Rapadas was the lead singer of a band in the 90s. Neo, <laughs> Neo, oh, Neo yeah, Colors. Band? Neo Colors. Neo Colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if he's, he's proud of it, but <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay. I, that's okay. what I know. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I said, Ito Rapadas, <clears throat> his name... Ah. Actually, Sounds okay, familiar. Oh. Eh. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it started that way. So, parang social media, kasalanan na naman ng social media to eh. <laughs> so, social media lang to, parang dun lang kayo nag-uusap. Ganun ba, ganun uh, ba yun? Yeah, pasahan lang naman kasi, di ba? Gan uh -oh. Ganun lang naman. You pick up, you pick up a, a, an interesting status message, you repost it if you feel the yeah. same way. Mm -hmm. That's how it happened. Yeah. Death by repost. Uh -huh, <laughs> so, okay. I, I did. Because yeah. I have my own set of friends. Yeah, and, okay. Uh, so who started the Facebook group? There is, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's a, a Facebook event, event. invite, yeah, right? Yes. Can you know, can you know, can you know, can you know, obviously, no, 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 obviously <laughs> things have been snowballing to today and then until yeah. Monday, but there are very many, many uh, uh, little sproutings of, of this same feeling. Yeah. I think what my understanding is, because I'm with change.org, and I know that there, on August 7, the former senior government officials placed a petition, which is really their statement saying mm -hmm. the ombudsman must must probe, an impartial separate body must probe this PDAF scam that has come to light. FSG Oyon. Mm -hmm. So they created a petition on our website. Uh, they converted their statement into a petition. Technically, they said, who else agrees with us? And then mm -hmm. it became a petition. That's okay. August 7. Today, there's already 14, almost 15,000 signatures. Uh -huh. 14,756. Okay. To be signatures precise, right now. Signatures, signatures uh -oh. on that petition. But yeah. interestingly enough, uh -oh. since August 7 till today, there are now 52 petitions related to the PDAF scam. Yeah. Okay. For example, one says probe using the ombudsman, one says abolish pork, one says push FOI to prevent this, one says um, don't abolish pork, just give it to PGH. You know, all mm -hmm. these are related. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting because there's actually one page of it. All the links are there. It's change.org slash ph. Um, can you help me out with your campaigns? PDF dash scam. If you go to this page, oh, ah, galing. Wow, solar, fantastic. <laughs> uh, did you read that? Okay, anyway, <laughs> this link that you're seeing on the screen right now has the whole list of these, 50, uh -huh. these petitions. Yeah. And all asking for some nuance of this scam. Yeah. Give to PGH. Blah, blah, blah. And I think I have a feeling the Luneta March will probably look the same. Mm -hmm. There's like one thin thread tying everybody yeah. in, which is obviously there's corruption, obviously it's my taxes, and obviously it has to change. That's the yeah. thin thread. Correct. Yeah. The other different threads would be perhaps Bayan will be abolish pork, perhaps Akbayan will be, I think they announced oh. abolish pork, and then oh. uh, perhaps Gab Gabriela has something else, perhaps, you know, other yeah. groups have okay. something else. That's on social media. Yes. What are we going to see on the ground on the 26th? I don't know. Do you know? No, because like you, I'm sure you, you you've been able to count, no, like how many people are you expecting? Because you said this is going to be a million people march. But Will there be a million people? Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> We're not organizers. I've been telling everyone who has been sending me uh, personal messages. You know what? You can organize. You can mm -hmm. organize on your own. Mm -hmm. um, 
I am going there with my own little group. And whether there's someone organizing this or not, I am going there. It doesn't mm. matter. It's, okay. it's, it's parang wala, wala naman talagang parang real organizer. Parang yung general sentiment oh. yata, Pia, is I'm going for myself. Yes. Mm. Um, okay. In fact, I've been getting feelers that the first wave, nung hindi pa nila alam na si Peachy lang yung nag-repost, the first wave were a series of doubts. Like, sino nagsustart nito? Is it a push from the left, yeah. from the right? A TV show? Is it yeah. this? And then they, that's why I wrote an article. It's posted on the Esquire website now. Explaining that I met her and she said, I just reposted, reposted, reposted. And yeah. I think it's very, it was very difficult to believe for the um, older ones. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was just watching it. Sorry. Yes. No, for those, mga wala sa social media, for those who are unused, to oh. the viral la- nature of social media. Yeah. Sobrang hirap paniwalaan. Okay, so this is like eh. this is an issue of gone viral. Parang ganun. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Repost now, gone yeah. wild talaga. <laughs> gone wild, gone viral. Okay. So Pierre and, and Cecil are still here because uh, if I understand correctly, you guys are also going to be joining that yes. million people more. How did you find out about this social media also? Oh, of course. Uh, okay. First, I heard about it on Twitter and admittedly, Pichi, I was kind of jaded about this because I was <laughs> because, because I, yeah, I, yeah, explain that. I, I, don't, why? I, I didn't I didn't want to go to a place to express my indignation where other people would be there seeing banners and effigies uh, and stuff, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go there to protest about one single issue. I don't want my taxpayers money wasted. Uh, okay. Just that. Okay. And uh, the picnic sounded good. It sounded especially good when I learned about no posters, banners, stages or anything. So I decided really, to go. Really? Yeah, no posters, banners. Yeah, so well, yeah. No well, streamers. Yeah, uh, you know, I actually um, finally said yes to meeting because mm. since I told people also, the individuals, no, go organize yourselves and people stepped up. Mm-hmm. There are okay. individuals who stepped up. Uh, some are from organized groups. Now, the others are really, you know, these are, kumbaga, this is the first time I'm going to organize something. Mm-hmm. Ganon, di ba? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I met with them. Yeah. Sorry, Pierre, I interrupted you. You were still talking. No, that was fine. Um, okay. Now, my, my, my take on this is, this is going to be a situation where there will be two, maybe three kinds of protests. One protest will be in Luneta. Mm-hmm. The second kind will be all over the world, possibly through our mm-hmm. OFWs. All over the world? Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because uh-huh. the OFWs have already been posting, uh, let's go meet and uh, protest and things like that. Just mm-hmm. start oh, there. I know that there is a plan in Vancouver, yes. Yes. even Vancouver. in Saudi Arabia, Iloilo, Sa- Cebu, in Fuente Esmeña, and there's one in Burnham Park. Right, right. Mm-hmm. In, okay. in Zamboanga, right. in uh, Bohol. Also. Sabi ko sa mga yeah. underage, kung di kayo payagan ng parents nyo, mag selfie kayo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Selfie, selfie na rin kayo ng selfie. <laughs> which, which brings me to the third kind of protest. <coughs> yes. You have the one in Luneta, yeah. the one in other places. The yeah. third kind you can protest online. Online. Yes. Right. You can retweet, you can tweet, you can retweet, you can Uh-oh. make it trend, you can make it uh, trend on Twitter, Instagram, and all those things, right? Uh-oh. So the point is, bring the message across to our legislators and our executive that we do not stand for our money being wasted anymore. We won't have anything to do with it. Cecil. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm going. Mm-hmm. And um, like, what she, uh, like what she said, I also had concerns um, kung sino yung nag-organize. But um, ultimately, ako, I decided to go kasi I'm going for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, kung iba man yung message ng ibang tao, well, kanila yon. Pero meron din naman kasi akong, ano eh, meron din kasi akong purpose din, which is to be counted. So, you know akin. So, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Okay. So, you're exercising your freedom. <laughs> yes. Uh, to so, assemble. It, you know, yes. it's so interesting <laughs> because obviously, many people who are affiliated with organizations, for example, me, I'm part of Rock Ed. Mm-hmm. Um, there's always an assumption that is Rock Ed going, you know. And mm-hmm. I will say it now on Solar that there's no call for Rock Ed to go. There will be no Rock Ed tar, but I will go by myself and those who want to will go. Those who feel that it is best for them to stay home, stay home. But for mm-hmm. as long as you're informed and you decided on something, yeah. um, I think that's, I the, that's the interesting part about it. I'm so curious. I know I am going. I'm going because 
um, I want the ombudsman to probe. I want the ombudsman to be key here, you know, to tie up with the DOJ and the NBI and then eventually the Sandigan Bayan. I'm pushing that because it's not extra constitutional, it's right. not extra judicial. Yes, yeah. Conchita Ken. <laughs> I think ano, Conchita ano? Ken. Yes, Conchita Ken. My hashtag, hashtag, my yes. hashtag is Yes, Conchita Ken. No, 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 Yes. Yes, Conchita Ken. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. no, no, no. Yes. Do that. We're live. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. No, okay. Yes, Conchita Ken. Yes, Conchita Ken. And it's uh -huh. different from yes, Conchita will. Ah, iba yon. We don't know. By can, I mean, yeah. I'm affir by this hashtag, yes, Conchita can, I'm affirming the capacity of her office uh -huh. to change things around. I think, I think she's latchkey. Yeah. I think she'll be turning point. Okay, wait. The, the and I protest. believe in her. Okay. Wow, it sounds On like TV. a campaign for her. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so the, the, sabi, di ba, the, the, the protest in Luneta. So you guys, none of you, uh, including you, yeah. the, the two of you there. <laughs> None of you have any real idea about what's really going to happen, right? No. Because there's no I program. A, I, know, no, we, I think uh, have there will be a program. Yeah. I can imagine what's going to happen. I know I'll I find imagine. my spot and I'll just probably text people to meet me here, especially yeah. the ones with food. I'll yes. invite them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a picnic. Let's yeah. bring yeah. food, please. You should bring, bring it your on. Food. All the respect but to the clean up. <laughs> clean yeah. up. Bring your own trash bag. Yes. We are not going to You know, if you're going and you're watching, can I encourage you to bring your own water thermos para hindi na bumili ng... Yes. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. wala, wala pang mga authorities ang nagtatanong sa inyo. Um, well, like dahil, what I said. Dahil ganyan ka magtanong sa amin ngayong gabi, I'm sure may magtatanong na bumili. Hindi kasi syempre mag-congregate naman kayo sa isang lugar. Ah, so lilinawin ko lang ulit as to summarize. Peachy read a status that said maybe we should protest. And then she put a time and date to it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then she reposted. When yeah. she reposted, everybody yes. else was reposted. Okay. I didn't so, even know So, time and date. Why, why did you think August 20, why to August 26? Because well, well, holiday. <laughs> no. holiday. August 26, okay. Uh -oh. It's around the mga bayani, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Where bayanis, because we pay, all of us, uh, we pay our taxes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Regularly and in full. Whether we work or not, we do pay taxes. That's true. Please, that is your right. When you, when you buy anything, you pay taxes. That's 12% mm -hmm. VAT. Mm -hmm. So you are a taxpayer. Even if you don't have work, you're a mm -hmm. taxpayer. Okay. I'm an employee, so my tax is deducted automatically. So you're a bayani, and mm -hmm. there's no work. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 And then why 9 a.m.? Because it's Na, a picnic. Because oh, why, it's a picnic. why 9 a.m.? Because I didn't have a plan on 9 p.m. See, that's my proof. Hey, that if I didn't have a plan on 9 p.m., it's at 6 p.m. Oh, yes. Prime time news. Sunset is the start. Sunset is the end of 2 a.m. 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very practical about things. Um, mm -hmm. Nowadays, by it's, it's sunny in the morning. And then ah. by 12, maka it would start raining. Yes. na, mag mm -hmm. na, mag, mag na. And of course, we have to think about that. Yeah. I... Oh. I think okay. about that. Uh, we're, we're, we have to say goodbye in a while, but w are there people who are reacting to any of you know, on social media saying, Parang, what are you guys doing? You know, may, meron bang kumukontra? Marami. Marami. Marami like, doubts. Oh. Marami doubts. Doubts about? Uh, the, the agenda. You know, the agenda. The agenda. Sino <laughs> nasa likod din yun? Oh, 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 oh. Who is financing? I, in fact, wow, oh. sana may nagpa-finance sa kanya. Oh. Para may pagkain. It's an interesting mm -hmm. part. I only met her a few days ago. Because uh -huh. everybody, so now everybody's fears were, baka may conspiracy, big backer, organized group conspiracy behind this. So when I finally met her, uh, quite accidentally actually, I said, ah, she's just a normal person. She just looks like an angry taxpayer to me. That's all. No, you know, not a demagogue, no, not no object, you know, no agendas or anything. And I okay. think all she wanted, I think, uh, sorry, am I quoting? Sorry, okay. Yeah. I think all she wanted, from what I understood, was. I want people to know that I'm angry, so I will go to Luneta. Are you angry too about mm -hmm. okay. our taxpayers' money yeah. not being right. used as it should the, be? Siguro for, for, for just for clarity, no? Mm -hmm. I really want people to claim their voice because mm -hmm. they can. You mm -hmm. know, we've, we've been uh, stepped on for too long. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a voice, you okay. can actually do something. Okay.
So I should say thank you to the four angry taxpayers. Yes. <laughs> Tama, di ba? Yes. Angry kayo lahat. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Certainly. <laughs> thank you very much. Gang Badoy, uh, Peachy, Britannia, Cecil Soria, and, Je and <laughs> so what's the Chester next? I'm sorry. <laughs> Pierre Tito Galia. Of course, um, uh, Cecil is uh, Ceso on Twitter, CESO. Di ba? I, keep, I have to keep plugging for you guys. <laughs> to thank you so <laughs> much for all the work. Yeah. No, they did a lot of work kanina for oh, Town yeah. Hall. And Pierre, of course, is Jester in Exile on Twitter. So thank you very much for being thank here. You. And thank you for watching. I'm Pion Tiveros. This is News.ph. See you again next Wednesday. Good night.